We honor you once again, Heavenly Father. We honor you, King Jesus, the head of the church. We honor you, Lord Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, our intercessor. We are grateful once again for an opportunity to come into your presence. We, the ones that you love, we have gathered to praise you. We have gathered to say thank you. We have gathered to honor you, Lord, for the great things that you have done for us. We say thank you for that miracle of going to bed and waking up in the morning we are grateful. We say, receive all the praise, oh God. Receive all the glory. Receive all the honor. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. We magnify your name. Thank you, righteous Father. Thank you, mighty one of Israel. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Good morning, everyone. I, I want us to go to Isaiah, Isaiah chapter six from verse one. We remember that famous Bible passage. Isaiah says in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up and his train filled the temple. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. And he had a throne. Our God has a throne. He reigns. He rules. You know, he has a throne. He's not a figurehead. For those of us who live in the UK, you know, you will look at the queen and think, you, look, you know what? She's just a figurehead. Our God is not a figurehead. He is the one who reigns over the universe. He, he has authority. He has authority to kill and make alive. He has authority to open a door. Nobody can shut it. When he shuts a door, nobody can open it. He has authority to change our stories. He has authority to do what no man can do. I want us this morning to have that picture in our hearts uh, that our God has a throne. And you know, even on the earth, when they approach a throne, you know how they approach it. There is protocol. They don't just rock up in Buckingham Palace. I know some people who like to dress in ways that are considered very different. But when they go to Buckingham Palace, they change their dress code because they must wear what the, what, what the protocol of Buckingham Palace demands. This throne that we are approaching, it has a protocol and the protocol is righteousness and holiness. The way to approach this throne is not just to come like nothing happened. We come through the blood of Jesus. So this morning, I want us to pray. Isaiah said in the year King Uzziah died, maybe Uzziah represented an idol in the life of Isaiah. We know that King Uzziah was helped mightily by God. He was one of those kings who were outstanding. He did awesome things. Maybe Isaiah respected him more than even he respected God. Uzziah had to die before he saw the glory of God. Let's begin to ask God this morning, whatever is an idol in my life that is taking your place, Lord, I renounce it and I repent of it and I come by the blood of Jesus because the king has a protocol. He's a king who dwells in righteousness. He's a king who dwells in holiness. He has a protocol. I just can't come the way I go to any other place. I can't just approach his throne as if it's just an ordinary throne throne, but I must come in humility. I must come under the covering of the blood of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we approach your throne of grace and mercy this morning under the covering of the blood of Jesus. By the precious blood that was shed on Calvary for us, we come before your throne, O God, and we repent, O God. We renounce every sin in speech, in thought, in deed, whatever is not consistent with your holiness. Whatever is not consistent with your righteousness, Lord, we renounce it. We repent of it. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us. Let the blood of Jesus wash us. Let the blood of Jesus purify our hearts. Renew a right spirit in us. Whatever is not of you, oh God, I reject it. Is there anything that I'm giving my attention to, Lord, more than you? I repent of it. And this morning I say, Lord, you are highly lifted up. You are great and greatly to be praised. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. We honor you, the King of glory. Your throne is high and lifted up. We exalt your name this morning. You are worthy to be praised. We renounce any other thing that tries to take your place in our lives, in our families, in our children's lives, in our communities, in our nations. Be enthroned, King of the universe. Be exalted, Father. Be magnified, Heavenly Father. King Jesus, the earth has been given for you to make your enemies your footstool. You have sat at the right hand of God the Father. 
until your enemies become your footstool. We honor you this morning, Lord. We honor you. Let the blood of Jesus cause our worship and our praise to be sanctified. Let the blood of Jesus cause our prayers this morning to be sanctified. That is, we pray everything that come up, comes out of us, may it be sanctified by the blood of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Verse 2 of Isaiah 6, it says, Above the throne of God stood the seraphims, the burning ones. The seraphim, the burning ones. Each one had six wings. And with two he covered his face, with two he covered his feet, and with two he could fly. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the commander of the angel armies. He is holy. The whole earth is full of his glory. Me and you are in the earth. So this morning, we ought to feel the impact of the holiness of God. The angels were testifying. The burning ones were testifying that God is holy. And they said the whole earth is full of his glory. I want us to receive it this morning and say, Holy God, I receive your glory on this planet earth. For the whole earth is full of your glory. As somebody who is a, an inhabitant of the planet earth, physically speaking, I receive your glory on the earth. We are already in heavenly places with you. We know in heavenly places your glory is there. But here on earth as well, Father, let your glory be made manifest. For the whole earth is full of your glory. We receive your glory this morning. We receive the weight of God in whatever community we live in. I receive the weight of God. Let everything that has been trying to control the atmosphere be rebuked this morning. I receive the weight of God. Lord, are there places evil altars that had been raised in my community to host something else other than your presence. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I receive your glory. May your glory shut down anything that is not of you this morning. May your glory shut down, Father God, every strange power, every strange ordinance, principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places, shut them down, O oh God, with your glory, with your weight, with your cupboard, with your holiness, with your beauty. May your holiness be felt all over the United Kingdom. May your holiness be felt, O oh Lord, all over Africa, in every nation from the north to the south to the east and the west. May your glory overshadow our nation nations. May the weight of your glory overshadow our nations. May your glory overshadow Europe. May it overshadow America, South America. May it overshadow Australia, Asia. May your glory cover all the earth, all the islands in the Caribbean, in the Pacific. May your glory overshadow them, all the islands in the Indian Ocean. We receive the glory. We receive the glory. We receive the glory. The whole earth is full of your glory. Let your glory be made manifest, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We honor you. We exalt your name. We bless you, ancient of days, the king of kings, the one who was and is and is to come. We receive your glory. Let your glory, Lord, be made manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Our God is not partial. If Isaiah saw the Lord, you can see the Lord right now, this minute, when you tune your spirit into his presence. For God is a spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. If I'm just in the realms of the flesh, I will miss it. But it doesn't mean that the presence is not here. He said, I saw the Lord seated upon a throne, high and lifted up. God has the supreme throne in the universe. He is the one who can initiate the dramatic transformation of your life. If only you can see him this morning. He said, I saw him. His train filled the temple. If only you could see him this morning. If only you you could join the seraphim who are worshiping holy 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 is the lord god of mighty the lord of hosts the commander in chief of angel armies the whole earth is full of his glory and the posts of the door moved the door began to shake the building began to shake at the voice of him that was speaking holy holy and the house was filled with smoke the house was filled with the presence of god if only we 
can tune in. That we might see the Lord. That we might see the Lord seated on his throne. That we see him. We see him. We see, him. We see the great one. The marvelous one. The mighty one. Who is worthy of worship. Who is worthy of worship? Shalaba robo santa, ragado so pregede, ravazuvra dadaba, ragado dula mahende, ilabrado so pregede yanda, imazuske telebalaba, indalabrado so tondolobo. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We honor you. May, may praise never depart from our mouths. May worship never depart from our spirit. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Bible says in that Isaiah 6. From verse 6 and, and 7. It says one of the seraphim flew to Isaiah. Having a live coal in his hand. A coal that has come from the fire that is before the presence of God. A live coal. The coal was alive. It wasn't dead. And he used tongues to take it from the altar of God. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this has touched your lips. Your iniquity is taken away and your sin is purged. Let's thank God this morning that God has done it for us as well. That this morning, Father, I thank you that my iniquity has been taken away from me by reason of the blood of Jesus. And your spirit is here sanctifying us, purifying us, refining us. We thank you for the refiner's fire that is able to refine us in the inner man. You are able to change us, Lord, and transform us. I receive this morning that my lips have been cleansed so that when I pray, when I speak, it is under the atmosphere of holiness. Whatever intercession, we are doing it under the atmosphere of holiness. Thank you for cleansing us. Father, we stand in the gap on behalf of our bloodlines, on behalf of our communities and our nations and we receive your cleansing this morning. We receive your purging, oh God, not just for us, but for every bloodline we represent, every community we represent, every nation we represent. We are receiving cleansing in the name of Jesus. Let our iniquity be taken away and let every sin be purged in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, that you qualify those you have called. You don't call the qualified. You called us who are unqualified and you have qualified us in the name of Jesus. We are not sufficient of ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God. We thank you, Father, this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. And then in verse 8, in verse 8 of Isaiah 6, Isaiah heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? And then Isaiah said, here am I, send me. This morning, God is still looking for whom to send in the place of prayer, in the realms of the apostolic, in the realms of the prophetic, in the realms of the pastoral grace, in the realms of the teaching grace, the evangelistic grace. He is asking the same question. Today, on this 17th day of August 2022, whom shall I send? Are you going to partner with him? Father God, I, I report myself for duty I I say, Lord, here I am. Send me, oh God. Lord, use me for your glory. Send me, Lord. Use my voice. Use my voice to speak to the nations. Use my, my feet, oh God, to reach those territories that need your presence. Use my hands to lay hands on the sick and the recover. Use my hands to minister to the orphans, to the widows, to the underprivileged. Use my hands, oh God, to minister to those who need help. Lord, use me this morning. Let me be used for your glory. Let this day be a day where I partner with you, Father God. May I join hands with you. Here I am, Lord, send me. Child of God, won't you tell God? Won't you report for duty and ask him to use you today in a new dimension? There is a sick person right now who needs your hands on them. God needs you this morning. Once again, he is in need of vessels. God is not going to come down from heaven and begin to feed the poor in your neighborhood. God needs you to 
to, to, to register yourself for duty this morning. Here we are, Lord. Send us to the nations. Whatever, Lord, you are looking for this morning. We know, Lord, there is somebody somewhere who needs our prayer this morning. Here we are, Lord. Send us. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We glorify your name. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Father, because in your service is our breakthrough. In your service is our joy. In your service is our victory. Yes, Lord, for you always watch out over your servants. You have never left your servants to wallow in pain. Oh, you have never. You are the one who delivers. In your service is the goodness we are looking for. In your service is the miracles, the signs, and the wonders we are looking for. Thank you, Father. Father, blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Psalm 22, Psalm 2, verse 3, the Bible says, Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. You are holy. And then in King James it says, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. You inhabit the praises of Israel. You know, Bible teachers tell me that that word inhabit is what we would translate into English as to marry, marry like a union between a man and a woman. And you know, when there's a union between a man and a woman, we often see the result of it. You know, there is, there is a pregnancy that comes out of that union and there is a delivery that comes out of it. When God marries our praise. The only result will be the goodness of God, will be divine healing, will be deliverance, will be transformation. He says he inhabits, he marries the praises of his people. As you have praised him this morning, I want you to thank God and say, Lord, I thank you for inhabiting my praises. Thank you that my praises have created a home for you to dwell in inside of me. I thank you this morning as you marry my praise, that there is a, there is a product of this union. God cannot just marry my praise in vain. When God, when me and God become one flesh, ha, hallelujah, can you imagine? Satan cannot continue to dwell there. Sickness cannot continue to dwell there. Misery cannot continue to dwell there. When God and I become one, when we are united, he says he inhabits the praises of his people. As I've praised him this morning, God has come to sit on my praise. He has married my praise. My praise has created a place for him to land on. Oh Lord, I thank you that Jehovah, you are doing a new thing this morning as you inhabit the praises of your people. Thank you that there is a fruit that comes out of this union. We are not left the same. We are not ordinary this morning for your presence is here and where your presence is, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. We thank you this morning Father. We praise you Adonai. We give you glory. Oh, Let's go to Psalm 16, Psalm 16 from verse 5. The Bible says, the Lord, Yahweh, the self-existent God, is the portion of my inheritance and of my cup. You maintain my lot. The Lord is the portion of my inheritance. Whatever I'm supposed to inherit on planet earth. It's actually coming from Yahweh and Yahweh is my inheritance. When other people are inheriting other things, we are inheriting the presence of Yahweh. He says he's the portion of our inheritance and he is our cup. He maintains our lot. In other words, whatever has been apportioned to you, God maintains it. God will make sure that Satan cannot steal your blessing. He maintains your lot. He, he, he cannot come and steal from you. He cannot because God is with you. He is the portion of your inheritance. He is all that you need. I want us to declare it this morning and say, Lord, I thank you that you are my portion. You are everything I need. You maintain my lot. You support me. You protect me. You defend me. Whatever blessing that belongs to me today, blessing that belongs to my family, to my community, to my nation, I thank you, Lord, that you have protected it. You maintain my lot. In the name of Jesus, you are my portion. You are my portion. You are the inheritance that I have received. In the name of Jesus, I know in you is everything I need. It's a package, a package that is complete. It's receiving everything that I will ever need for all my earthly existence. Thank you, Father. 
in the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Verse 6 of Psalm 16. The Bible says, the boundary lines of the land have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, my heritage is beautiful to me. In other words, whatever you have received today, child of God, it is a pleasant, it is a pleasant thing that you've received. When he says the lines have fallen for me in pleasant places, it means when they cast the lot and say, what shall we give them? The lot for you fell on the perfect place, on the right place. I want you to receive this morning and say, I receive the pleasant places God has ordained for me here. Right now in this season, I receive them. The lines have fallen unto me in pleasant places. My heritage is beautiful to me. That which God has given me is beautiful. I receive it this morning. I receive pleasant places, pleasant places, beautiful places, good things. I receive them from the hand of God. For the lines have fallen unto us in pleasant places. We have a good heritage. We have a beautiful inheritance. In the name of Jesus. We receive it. We receive it this morning. We receive pleasantness. Remember the story of Naomi. When Naomi was going back home to Bethlehem with her daughter-in-law Ruth. And, and Naomi was saying, you know, I've suffered a lot. Change my name from Naomi to, to Mara. Why? Because Naomi means pleasantness. It means that wherever you go, pleasant things manifest. Begin to receive it this morning. I receive pleasant places. Wherever I go, whatever I do, the works of my hands will yield pleasant places. Pleasantness follows me around. Yes, in the name of Jesus. I am not who I used to be. I am walking in a different dimension. God has given me a beautiful inheritance in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we worship you this morning. We give you praise, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to come back to Psalm 16, but could we please go to Isaiah 60, Isaiah 60, and I have it in front of me in the Amplified Classical Version. It says, and it's talking to me, it's talking to you this morning, child of God, you know, it says, arise, me, I just, I, I'm arising. It says, arise from the depression and the prostration in which circumstances have kept you, rise to a new level. Shine, be radiant with the glory of the Lord for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. I, I, I pray child of God that wherever you are, you stand up. If you're sitting down, arise. If you're sleeping, arise. It says arise from the depression and the prostration. Prostration means to be laid out flat on the floor. However, way circumstances have laid you out flat on the floor that you felt like you couldn't rise. You felt you became helpless. Bible is saying arise from there. Arise from the depression and the prostration in which circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new life. Refuse to remain at that level. In the name of Jesus, rise up. Arise. The Bible says shine. Be radiant. Be ra when you're shining, you know, people can see someone who's shining. The devils can see it. The demons can see when you're shining. Arise and begin to shine. Be radiant for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. You are not alone. The presence is with you. The weight of God, his cabot is upon you. The Lord has risen upon you. His light has come. Jesus, the light that shines in darkness and darkness could not comprehend it. He is upon you. He is in you. He is all around you. Rise and shine. Father God, in our health, we rise and shine. In our spiritual lives, we rise and shine. We shine spiritually. We shine. Our spirit man is shining in the name of Jesus. Father God, in our finances, we arise and shine. In our businesses, we arise and shine. In the professional jobs you've given us, we arise and 
and shine in our motherhood. Lord, in every dimension you have given us, we arise and shine. We, your glory has risen upon us and we receive it, oh God. We walk to the next level. We walk to that place you ordained for us. We refuse to go backwards. We refuse to regress. We refuse, oh God, for the devil to steal anything that belongs to us. We arise this morning in the name of Jesus. Your glory, your glory, Father, has risen upon us. And we are grateful this morning in the name of Jesus. Ah, Rabba Baba Shala Baragadasia, Regede de Bregede Lebosia, Rabo Suvrada da Balagadasia, Ikalu Brado Socondo Loboraba, Jean Dalaba Rogodosia, Mako Rabba Baba Baba Baba, Endelebosia and Dalaba. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says in verse 2 For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and dense darkness all people, but the Lord shall rise upon you, O child of God, on this prayer line. And his glory shall be seen on you. I want you to declare it. That wherever I go, the light of God is upon me. The light is shining. Even if my neighbor is in darkness, um, the light in me is shining. Wherever I go, I am shining. I will stand out by the grace of God. Let the light shine upon our children, upon our youth, our young people, everybody connected to us. We are declaring this morning, the light is shining. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Verse 3 of Isaiah 60. It says, And nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. You know what this means? Nations coming to your light. It means that what you are carrying becomes so relevant that people from all over the world come to the brightness of your rising. They come to you because you've become the solution provider for that very thing that God deposited inside of you begins to minister to the nations. You become relevant. You are not just here on earth whiling up time, but you are a blessing to the nations. He says, kings, kings will come to the brightness of your rising. That means even those in eminent position will look for you. They will seek for you because you are carrying something that they don't have. Begin to prophesy it over your children over your life our young people we speak over them our families we speak over them the body of christ they will no longer be ignored let the body of christ become relevant because we are carrying what the world doesn't have declare it this morning father lord we prophesy it we decree it and declare it this morning nations shall come to our light yes nations will come to the light that we are carrying they'll be attracted to the light and will be able to lead them to christ nations will come to our light Kings will come to the brightness of our rising because we are not going to be ordinary. We are bright. We are shining brightly. The spiritual gifts you have given to us are shining brightly. The anointings you have given to us, the, the skills and the talents you have given to us, Lord, they are shining. Kings are coming to the brightness of our rising. We speak over our sons and our daughters and say, Father, concerning these children that you have given to us, nations will come to their light and kings will come to the brightness of their rising. These children are rising up. They are rising up. These sons and daughters are going higher and higher in the precious name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Bible says in verse 4, I want you to see this prophetically. It says, lift up your eyes around about you and see. Look around you and see. It says, look, they all gather themselves together. They are coming to you. There is a crowd coming to you. Your sons will come from afar. Your daughters shall be carried and nursed in the arms. In other words, you are gaining sons and daughters. You are gaining spiritual sons and daughters. They are coming from afar. He says, look up. See the crowd that is coming right now to be blessed at your hands, to be nursed at your breast by the spirit of Jesus. Oh, Riakasanda, Lord, we receive them, our sons and our daughters who are coming from afar to be nursed at our feet by the place of prayer. We will nurse them by the place of intercession. We are raising them up, young men and young women who will be used for your glory in the land of the living. Maria Kasondo, Rebakus Zavakina maheke lembrado so pregedea oria gado so pregedeleba ruma sun telebrada data da gadula masekent telebaba robo so pregedeleba riba baba shanta la barabosia in the name of Jesus. 
Father, we thank you. Oh, we worship you. We glorify your name in Jesus' name. Let's quickly go back to Psalm 16 before we run out of time. In Psalm 16, Psalm 16, the Bible says in verse 11, you will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. You know what, child of God? It's good enough to have joy. But when you have fullness of joy, 100% joy, no, nothing else can be added to the joy. You know, when it's fullness of joy, it means, look, it's complete. There is no question mark. There is no but, no, because it's fullness of joy. He says, in your presence is fullness of joy. In your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Not the pleasures of this world that expire pleasures that don't run out. Let's begin to receive it this morning. Father, this morning, I receive direction that Lord, you are showing me the path of life. I receive direction for my family, direction for the church of God, direction for my community, my nation. I receive direction, the path of life. I receive it for everyone connected to me by birth, by marriage, by covenant relationships. We receive the pathway of life in the name of Jesus. We receive the pathway of life this morning. Father God, let your spirit order our steps in the name of Jesus. We receive the grace to remain in your presence where there is fullness of joy. This morning, Father, we enjoy fullness of joy, 100% joy, joy unspeakable, joy overflowing, joy, let it overflow, let it overflow, let it overflow, let it spring up from our inner man and, and spill over. Thank you, Father. We receive the pleasures forevermore that are at your right hand. For we are seated at your right hand in Christ Jesus. So we receive those pleasures in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Father. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen and amen.